हरे कृष्णा अमेरिकन प्रेसिडेंशियल इलेक्शन कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी ओवर द एज एंड क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ द पार्टिसिपेंट मेकिंग सेंस विद द भगवद गीता recently after the first debate between biden and trump in which biden's feebleness and frailty because of his age became undeniably evident for everyone there has been an increasing demand that he step down i would like to look at this issue from the perspective of the bhagavad gita and the broader mahabharat of which it is a part while biden's situation is strikingly reminiscent of the blind king duryodhan the blind king dhritarashtra his opponent trump's situation is also unfortunately reminiscent of the sun Duryodhan. Let's look at the similarities in terms of three Ds for Biden and three Is for Trump. The first D is denial. It was clear to everyone that Biden himself, as well as his group of his supporters. which included not just his team but much of mainstream media were actively covering up the signs of his aging which were increasingly evident during his fumbles and memory lapses and even brain freezes during many of his public appearances this is by no means a criticism of the individual it is tragic when we see a healthy person is becoming worn out because of old age the bhagavad gita in 138 to 12 explains that janma mrityu jara vyadhi dukha dosha darshan that old age is one of the universal evils of material existence and seeing a person just fade away like this is a scary reminder of the fate that awaits all of us in the future in this very life but why this is an inevitable event in terms of the body aging the denial is disturbing and can have devastating consequences especially when the person is in a position of great power vitrashtra was limited by his blindness and while he could not be the king he remained in denial of his desperate desire to be the king and his great attachment and the complication that his his wanting to hold on to the kingdom was going to cause to everyone uh, from denial comes deception deception is where the trashtra ended up becoming a puppet for duryodhan when he was used by his wicked son for pursuing his own agendas and it's clear that biden is not really in charge of his faculties and there is the deep state which is ruling through him using him as a puppet one person might be on the chair but there's another in power and this is a subversion of democracy and such deception can go on for some amount of time but it cannot go on forever the bhagavad gita states that we may use our intelligence to arrive at conclusions opposite to what are the reality this is intelligence in ignorance adharmam dharmamitiya manyate tamasavrata सर्वार्थान विपरीतांश बुद्धि बिकॉज 
Mitrashtra's weakness coupled with Duryodhan's manipulativeness led to a fratricidal war which caused immense devastation to the world at that time. Today we see that two long wars have been raging across the world with no sign of either of them ending and uh, cost in terms of human loss as well as infrastructure and destruction is heartbreaking. Such destruction is a matter of especially great concern when the person who is supposed to have control over the nuclear force of the country is not in control of their own faculties and may very well become a puppet for the military industrial complex as a former US president Eisenhower talked about with its own nefarious agendas. This is not meant to be a criticism of one political party. It's just a correlation of a contemporary situation with a situation described in the epics. The Bhagavad Gita tells us that in this world, every endeavor is covered by fault. 1848 said that, that there is no, there are often situations when there are no easy choices. So the other candidate Trump is also no paragon of virtue. In many ways, he is impudent, impulsive and insensitive which were also the characteristics of Duryodhan. Impudent is a person who just does not respect authority figures, even those who are a respectable authority figures. And while some people may consider such impudence to be a sign of courage, others may see it, rightly so in many occasions, as a sign of recklessness. So Duryodhan was impudent towards Bhishma, Drona, even Vyasade, who were all his advisors and well-wishers. There are many occasions when Trump has neglected the good advice of people and has unnecessarily alienated audiences because of that. Then there is also the point of not just impudence, but also impulsiveness. Impulsiveness is where Duryodhan giving into his impulses would come up with terrible schemes and cause unnecessary harm to himself and to others. Trump with his Twitter handle was a person who caused a lot of unnecessary agitation. In fact, after Twitter banned him, much of his raging went down. The social truth network does not have that much reach. And that impulsiveness is something which is definitely counterproductive. The Bhagavad Gita states that a leader needs to be respected, but a leader also needs to be respectful. That and when, when talking about the example that a leader needs to set, set in 321, the Gita states that everyone needs to have, especially those with leadership, need to have virtuous qualities. Uh, and such qualities of impulsiveness or impudence, they do not reflect a divine nature at all. And lastly, is insensitivity. That sometimes Duryodhan would get unnecessary joy in causing hurt to others, as he did when he tried to not only dishonor Draupadi, but also tried to create a, a friction, friction and a breakage among the Pandavas and their family. So such insensitivity where either one is not aware of the hurt that one is causing or one goes about and causes hurt to others without caring for it just because one is very powerful. This was unfortunately evident in some of Trump's statements about women and some people in the military. So this is unfortunate overall that the world is in a situation where 
the strongest country in the world, at least at present, has only these two people as a choice among the leaders. In the Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna, on seeing the universal form, prays for peace and pacification. So we can also pray that the world moves towards pacification and whoever comes to the helm of leadership has a greater level of sattva and a greater level of service attitude by which they can help be a part of the solution and not a part of the problem. Thank you. Hare Krishna.